farmer Dre back at it. I was gonna see today I was gonna connect the big box truck to the tra truck here, but I'm not going to because I just got a phone call from my brother Val. And the reason we were gonna do that because we ran out of storage space inside the, the cooler space inside the warehouse there. And those tomatoes we've been picking, we need a place to keep them cooler. So I was gonna move this one over there next to the warehouse and put it about 60 degrees so we can store the tomatoes in it. But my brother's box truck, it's a 16 foot uh, bumper, bumper his trailer. We're just, he, the reef on it broke. So the guy, he's on the way fixing now. So I'm just gonna leave this here as is and I'm gonna go and uh, first of all, I'm gonna start the sweeper, bring all the tomatoes in here by the time the other one gets fixed and this one just gonna stay here for now. So I'm gonna get to uh, bring the tomatoes inside this cooler. I'm gonna put it at 60 degrees to keep it nice and uh, cool because in the warehouse it's getting close to 89, 90 degrees every day. So the tomatoes are just getting too hot and they're starting to rot. So that's the plan for today. And then they're cutting wood. Um, the tomato steaks there, they just went on a break now, but they're cutting steaks for the tomatoes and it's just busy, busy Friday here on the farm. So that's the plan for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Like this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget, to, don't forget to hit that little bell, little bell, bell notification bell. I'll come to you guys three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So you guys stay tuned. Just another busy day here on the farm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this reefer on here. Gonna see here, we're gonna press on. It's 77, 78 degrees in there right now. And then the, it's gonna start ticking here pretty soon because the reefer's got a, the, the, the diesel has got to inject inside the engine there. So go ahead and start. So let's see. My brother put a switch here for the lights inside there. So there we go. Turned on. It's set at 38 right there. So I'm going to go ahead and set it at 60 degrees. One, two, three, four. There we go, set it at that. I'm gonna leave it here until the other one gets fixed. Look how fast that's dropping there. So this is a box truck inside here. It's probably really loud, you guys probably can't hear me. So I'm gonna bring the tomato pallets in here, leave them in here until the other one gets fixed. This is a diesel powered uh, reefer trailer. So it runs on diesel. And my brother Val's, his runs on 110 electricity. So. Gonna go grab the tomatoes, the skiffs here. The skiffs are just right here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring all the tomatoes in here, 60 degrees. And at 60 degrees, the tomatoes still, they do not lose the flavor. We're just keeping them colder than regular temp, uh, the, uh, than edited temperature outside right now. Because if you leave them out there, they're just gonna start rotting and stuff. So 60 degrees is about room temperature, a little lower than room temperature, and they still got the amazing flavor, amazing taste, and still the same quality. So. I'm just trying to keep the quality longer, let them store back for two weeks instead of, you know, have them go bad on us two, three, two to three days. So, excuse me right here, I'm gonna jump in right now and uh, go bring those tomatoes. So I'm out here at Val's place now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the irrigation from the outside garden. I'm gonna turn on, here's the water house here. We gotta, if you guys will go back a while back, we fix this up. Oh, there's the extra Dewalt battery. Whoops. Go ahead and turn on the irrigation here. I was looking for this battery a while back. I couldn't find it. So, we'll have that and go. The foliage up there. 
So like I was told you guys the other day, we started picking produce out of here. We picked probably three to four bushels of cucumbers and then uh, a few squashes, actually quite a bit. We probably picked three five gallon bucket loads of zucchini squashes of each. And then the tomatoes, we got to come through. And as you guys saw, Adrian and Danny, they were uh, cutting those tomato steaks. And I'm gonna show you guys these tomatoes here, they are growing like crazy. You gotta come through and stake them up. And as you guys can see here, they're flowering like crazy. Just a bunch of flowers everywhere. So they say six weeks after flower, then they're gonna produce the fruit. Fruit's gonna mature. But these cucumbers and squashes, I mean, there's stuff everywhere. You guys can see here, cucumbers. We already picked a bunch just walking through here like this and uh, picking them. Then these watermelons, they started flowering. I started seeing some small watermelon here somewhere if i could find them here we go here we go these are crimson sweet watermelon there's some bigger size ones they're probably gonna come through and pick them in another row then the bell peppers and stuff are going pretty good so i'm gonna irrigate just turn the irrigation for the over the water the cucumbers all the way down and then i'm gonna come back leave those on for two hours and come back and do the tomatoes for two hours and then to hopefully tomorrow well we got farmers market tomorrow so i probably won't do that tomorrow because today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday for the farmers market. So probably Monday, we'll probably come through and stake all these tomatoes, get them all nice and uh, going, staked up, and then we'll see what we can, uh, how much we can do there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this filter here. Here we go. Probably a bunch of mess can come out of there. Clean that out. Let it run for two hours. I'm over here in the blackberries. I'm gonna show you guys the blackberries. And as you guys can see here, we're getting new shoots here from the, the from the crown, and they're just growing like crazy. We got to come through, finish planting them, and then actually we got to probably come to through tonight when Buns Val gets home and probably trim up the weeds and irrigate them. So we got to come through and uh, finish off the trellis system. That's a uh, another video for another time, another day. So right now I got to go through. As you guys see here, the full I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting off the glyphosate that I started uh, yesterday. And Wednesday, probably finish off today about the high density and get done. We got the setup here. You guys already know the drill. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and uh, watch my previous video on how I was doing this. So check it out. Back out here. Got two more rows. Those are the Granny Smiths and the Pink Ladies. See when we get done. Start one of those Golden Delicious over there. Alrighty, so three hours has passed and I came out here earlier to change off the water to uh, move it from the produce side to the tomato side but then I looked at the cucumbers and, and it wasn't wet enough so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on these peppers what I mean by that so do here so you guys see that water puddling pull, up in there that's you know it's wet enough and if you fill it your fingers sink in the ground so it was three hours since I started wetting it so now I gotta change it off too. And the way I do that is just I come here on the end and I just start turning off these valves here. Like that, and then open the one on that side. So, so these are the tomato plants that we gotta come through and stake. And as you guys can see, they have a lot of fruit on them. And like I showed you guys earlier, there are a bunch of flowers out here. So. I don't understand when people, whenever people, I talk to customers, they say they want field tomatoes. In my opinion, field tomatoes are trash. You don't get the quality you do and the taste. I wish I could send tomatoes to all you guys' houses that actually taste my high tunnel tomatoes, the red deuce. People call them hot house tomatoes. It's technically a high tunnel tomato, but I still don't understand what people don't like about them because compared to the quality of these field tomatoes, I think that my high tunnel tomatoes taste a whole lot better flavor wise and and quality wise are 100 times better so these are the tomatoes I gotta come through and stake and I'm gonna do I'm just gonna lay them like this one right here I'm just gonna lay it this way put the the, the the post in between them and just stake them up I'm not really gonna tie them up and there's a lot of indeterminate tomato varieties out here but I'm just gonna treat them as a determinant and just bush make them like make them like a bush rather than trying to prune them so now I'm, we're going to come through on monday and finish it off so this is our one of our first field tomatoes that are starting to ripen up and there's a lot more that starts to ripen here but 
size and quality is not as good as high tunnel so so now I gotta come through and pick like I said the cucumbers this is a perfect size cucumbers we want to pick for the farmers market so I'm gonna come through here and uh, gotta search through them and then the squashes here this is a perfect size that you want to have at the farmers market right there not too big not too small so I'm gonna come through here right now and uh, start picking and we'll see how many five gallon buckets we can fill up so we're gonna go ahead and start picking the cukes right now you gotta look through them like this here we go cucumbers a little small we big ready So this is what we picked. That, that bucket's full of zucchini. There's some pretty big honker ones and some smaller ones. And these are all, the cucumbers are kind of small, so I didn't pick them all. But, you know, some good size ones, not very much yellow squash. We picked up, picked another two buckets. Um, I don't remember exactly how many, two or three buckets. Last, uh, when was it, two or three days ago? That was our first pick, and then we got this much. And then yesterday, or the day before, we picked some more cucumbers. So we have two or three buckets full of cucumbers in the cooler. And some more zucchini stuff, so we'll have those tomorrow at the farmer's market. And there was a few zucchini that I could have picked, but my brother Radu, he wants to do a uh, you pick on the squashes tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday. So I left quite a bit out there, even on the cucumbers, you know, some smaller ones they'll grow overnight and stuff. So, as you guys saw, that was the um, you pick garden, the tomatoes on that side, the six rows, the five rows of tomatoes. We got to go through and stake them, and then all the other produce on this side. We have a lot of eggplants and then peppers and stuff. So Exciting stuff. We got to go in the warehouse now, grade them, put them on the washer, grade them up, and uh, then we got to start packing for farmer's market. All righty, so we are putting the last bag of the night. Finally. It is 11.38. That's the last bag, dude. What are you doing? 11 o'clock at night. This is our last bag. These are nice number ones. Put these in the cooler. 
And those are all the peaches we bagged over there. That is 70 boxes of peaches. There's five box, five, five bags per box. I'm gonna head in the cooler and put this stuff away. I'm gonna just go ahead and start packing these uh, squashes and stuff. I'm just gonna put them in these black crates here. Just kind of clean them up. I'm not gonna really wash them. Cause it's not worth opening up the washer. And uh, yeah. Small barn behind the tractor. Just kind of put them in here like this. Just like that. Alrighty, y'all. That is going to be pretty much it for today. As you guys saw, we did a lot of small things here on the farm. Picked the vegetables. We got the tomatoes up in the cooler, which I got to go right now and go grace them for tomorrow. Probably pull out, you know, the nice number ones. And we got some seconds I got to sell from last week. But it was just a long day. It is midnight now. We got, we're got we just packing for the farmer's market because it's pretty much exhausting. And tomorrow's going to be an exhausting day. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do to pay the bills, get the job done. Uh, you know, we grow so much product. And if you don't sell it, it's just pretty much building a compost pile. So that is going to be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like this video. If you guys have any questions, comments like that, leave me down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that little bell no notification bell because I'm coming to you guys three days a week. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time.